it's super cold today and I'm back in my down jacket. I think autumn has finally arrived. Long and the short of it is, we're on a chicken mission today. And that means that we're going down to the farm to, come on, Snowy, come on, to catch some chickens. That's the long and the short of it. Come on, Snow, come on, Snow boy. I love the weather today. I just love it. Coats locked, yep, thank you. Going down to the farm. This is Jolly, say hi, Jolly. Hello. <laughs> He's gonna help Daddy catch some chicken. Found out that the chickens are going in the back of this car, my car. So that should be interesting because it's not very big. Or is it very farmy? You're gonna have to let me out now that I'm child locked. Thank you. Oh, look at it. How's the day? So check it out. It's dusty. It's covered in fallen ash, but it is, it's magnificent nonetheless. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is my antique writing desk. Hopefully it will be my reading desk soon. And we are going to be doing it up. It's been sitting here for quite some time. Our plans to do it up have been thwarted time and time again. We originally bought the desk itself from a lady who was selling it uh, out in Dover. And we looked at it and I just thought, oh my God, this is so beautiful. And I was there with my dad who loves to woodwork and who loves to restore things. And he's like, get it, it's magnificent. We can make this look amazing. To which I was like, yes, I want an amazing antique writing desk. That's exactly what I want. But then my poor uncle passed away and his sort of, his energy levels dropped, his being my dad's energy levels dropped, and he kind of was a little bit morose, and I can understand that, so I didn't want to force it, but he's starting to find his pep again, the spring in his step, if you will, and, uh, and he's been picking up a few bits and bobs to fix the uh, desk up, so hopefully we are going to tackle that project, and comment below if you want to see any of that little um, project unfolding, so yes. That is my antique writing desk that will hopefully house all my apothecary items. Not all, because I've got a lot, but the most significant. And there's so many little nooks and, oh my, it's just tasty. You know when you look at something and you think, fuck, that looks witch? That looks witch. By the time I'm done with it, that's gonna look hella witch. Check out this walk. That's my sexy limp. <laughs> Have a look at this view. Walking through the orchard, or should I say hobbling through the orchard, the ground is rather uneven as I'm sure you can imagine, is just so damn energizing. Like being around all these really fertile trees. Now every tree to a degree is fertile, but these produce fruits, like luscious, tasty fruits. So I feel like I'm walking through a valley of the Empress right now. There is our first plum. Yes, that is our first 
juicy plum. I haven't walked through the orchard for a little while now because of my ankle. It's been really bothering me. Oh, there's more plums over there, but I just noticed, and I've never seen this up close. You're gonna laugh at me. I've never seen this up close. Oh, I'm so excited to show you. It's pears. Pears growing on a tree. I have never seen pears on a tree before. I've only ever seen pears in a supermarket setting, you know, already picked, possibly transported for miles and miles. And we've got pears growing on trees. Look, there's a tree down there with some extra pears. There's so many cool fruits on these trees. It's just awesome. I love it. I love it. Day. Thanks for hanging out with us and you know, as per usual, if you love the content, if you love the fact that I'm doing daily vlogs all of a sudden and you'd like for me to keep on going, then please do like this video, leave a comment down below, click that little notification bell if you're new to the channel and if you are new to the channel, then welcome. Thanks for being here. It is an absolute pleasure for me to be sharing sacred space with you in this way and I've got to say that showing up in your feed every single day just makes me feel happy so thank you so much for supporting my channel thank you for being here thank you for all the comments thank you just for all the love that i receive from you all it's just an absolute joy and a treasure to be a part of such a nourishing and thoughtful and innovative and creative and spiritual community much love many blessings